Hello East Eagles. This is Mrs. Fennell and I have brought you another awesome book to read to you today. Um, this book, the title is 30,000 Stitches. It's the inspiring story of the national 9-11 flag. It's written by Amanda Davis and illustrated by Sally Wren um, Comport. Um, and we're, we're celebrating Flag Day. Um, and this story really isn't about how the flag came to be, but it's another awesome story about how our flag endured. 30,000 Stitches, the inspiring story of the National 9-11 flag, written by Amanda Davis, illustrated by Sally Wren Comport. On September 11, 2001, New York City was attacked. Two planes were flown into the World Trade Center. The Twin Towers collapsed and thousands of people lost their lives. It was a tragic day in America's history. Days later, high above the wreckage of the buildings, construction workers hung an American flag. 30 feet wide, 20 feet tall, blowing in the New York City wind at 90 West Street. The fabric of America remained. As the weeks passed, red, white, and blue turned gray, torn, tattered, tired, hanging by a thread until one day it hung no longer. The flag was taken down and carefully stored away. The fabric of America waited. Six years later, in a town far away, disaster struck. A massive tornado destroyed the small town of Greensburg, Kansas. A group of volunteers from New York City and surrounding areas offered to visit Greensburg and help the town rebuild. Before the visit, residents of Greensburg asked the volunteers to bring a memento from the World Trade Center to include in the memorial park they planned to build. The time had come. Aged but not forgotten, the flag was brought out of storage, ragged and torn, faded and gray. The fabric of America emerged. Once the flag arrived in Greensburg, a different plan unfolded. A group of citizens spotted the flag. Its dusty remnants glimmered with hope. They saw its strength and went to work. They repaired the flag from the World Trade Center with fragments from their own flags, tattered from the storm. Hand by hand, thread by thread, one stitch at a time, the flag was reborn. The fabric of America is strong. With the patchwork complete, a grand idea was born. The flag would travel to each state to be fully restored, back to the 13 stripes, back to 50 stars. The fabric of America heals. And so the historic journey began the flag traveled near and far, from ballparks to beaches, from California to Maine. The flag touched many hearts and many hands, the hands of firefighters and soldiers, of teachers and students, the hands of mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters, the hands of many different people, people like you and me. It flew high in remembrance of a life filled with love. At each location, a new piece of fabric was added, a new stitch, a new story. In Hawaii, aboard the USS Missouri, stories of heroism were told as World War II veterans placed stitches. In Georgia, at the King Center, Stories of activism 
and the struggle for equality were shared as the family of Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King placed stitches. In Florida at Kennedy Space Center, stories of explanation, exploration and discovery were heard as members of America's space program placed stitches. And in New Mexico, near Navajo Nation, stories of survival and secret battle codes were shared as members of the Navajo Code Talkers placed stitches. The fabric of America unites. The flag wove its way across America, crisscrossing criss borders, criss-stitching lives. At long last, on September 11th, 2011, 10 years after the Twin Towers collapsed, the flag made its last stop. In Joplin, Missouri, the hands of 1,067 tornado survivors placed stitches. Throughout the journey, stories of tragedy transformed into triumph, repairing scars, restoring faith, uniting people. 50 states, thousands of hands, and 30,000 stitches later, the flag returned home to New York City, 30 feet wide, 20 feet tall, full of hope, full of strength. The fabric of America endures. <laughs>